Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. And what we're going to put together are, well, chocolate filled cookies. But we're going to do it the easy way with no baking, no fuss, no muss, just quick, easy, and tastes great. Now, you can, of course, make your own uh, cookies uh, if you prefer, but this video really is just a very simple, quick recipe. So you don't want to turn on your oven and you don't want to bake, especially in the summertime as it is right now for me. Um, so I just went out and I bought uh, these biscuits, if you want to call them that, or crackers. They're not really crackers, uh, but they're almost like a graham cracker, if you know what I mean, okay? And you can buy them and they, they have different brands um, out there. So you, you know, you choose. I mean, you could use any type of uh, cookie that is relatively where it's not easy to break. But you can see these do break, okay? And then what I do is I hold on to them and grind them and make pie crust or put toppings on or you know a dessert or something like that but anyway we'll get back to the point yeah um, you know you're going to I usually use a tube of these uh, cookies and then just buy your store-bought uh, frosting whatever flavor that you like this is a chocolate fudge uh, you can use your own if you have leftover uh, buttercream frosting or chocolate buttercream left over. But again, this really video is on very quick and easy. So, you know, you open up a, a little um, tub of frosting and, you know, you're ready to go. And if you don't use it up, then just put it in a very tight uh, container, lid container, and uh, freeze it and use it at another time. So there's really no waste to it. And um, what I want to show you is how quickly you can do this. And what I generally do is just take, you know, two of your cookies, whatever type of cookie that you want to use. And you're probably going to use maybe a tablespoon. You don't want too much. You don't want it gushing out on the sides. And then just press it together like that, okay? So it doesn't take a lot. Let's do another one. Just about a tablespoon or a small dollop. You can kind of be the judge of how much you want to put on. But I would make a suggestion not to put on too much because you really don't want it where you have to wipe the sides and that kind of thing. Then what I do is I take these and I actually put them, you can put them on whatever type of a plate that you want, and I put them in the freezer just to kind of cool down the frosting to help it harden before I dip it in chocolate. So I put those in the freezer. Now, what I also did was I took about 10 ounces of chocolate. There's just milk chocolate. There's no nuts in them or almonds or anything like that. And it can be any kind of uh, candy that you prefer. What I like to do is, is that after Valentine's or St. Patty's Day or Christmas, I buy chocolate and then I freeze it and then I use it for recipes or for eating or sharing with family and friends that kind of thing so it's kind of cost effective too uh, but you know whatever type of chocolate that you want and I generally use about 10 ounces maybe a touch more but 10 ounces of the milk chocolate I melt it in a uh, bowl for the microwave and I add two about two tablespoons of solid shortening and I just uh, keep it in the microwave long enough just to melt it not to overheat it too much and then I like to put it in my little warmer on low uh, as I'm uh, putting the cookies together so that's exactly what I have so far is the uh, 10 ounces and the two tablespoons of solid shortening that I melted in a, in a bowl in the microwave and I put it in my little warmer. Now, here are a couple cookies that I had in the freezer already that I did ahead for the video. And then it's really just, you know, so easy. Just take the cookie, dip it into your chocolate. Now, don't leave it too long because you don't want to warm, you know, you don't want to warm things up too much in the center. 
and try to drip off as much as you can off the cookie. Then I just lay it on a, um, as you see, a, a cooling rack. And then if you want to put on top of it, I put, you know, some chocolate jimmies. And if you have a little spot where it wasn't covered, you can add a little chocolate with a, a tiny little teaspoon or just cover it up with a topping. And let's do one more here. I'm going to dip it. And as you see, it's, it's really, you know, so quick and so easy. Just take your excess off as much as you can. Lay it down. And again, if it's not quite perfect, just use a spoon and move it around or just add a little bit to where, you know, to hide that. Now, you don't have to put anything on top if you don't want to, but here's another um, idea. Now, this is um, uh, unsweetened um, coconut flakes, and you can also do this with sugar-free chocolate, too. The only thing is you might have to adjust a little bit on the solid shortening and maybe use a little less. It really depends on the brand that you're using. Um, but you can use um, sugar-free uh, chocolate. You can use sugar-free frosting and then put whatever sugar-free uh, on, on top. So it's a real versatile, quick recipe that you, that you can use. Now on the cookies, we'll dip one more. And then what I particularly like is dipping them and then taking them out. Remember, try to take off as much excess as you can of the chocolate. And then I like to take uh, walnuts or whatever type of nut and just put them on top like that. So you can garnish them however you want. I mean, almonds or, you know, it's, it's limitless what you can do. Once you have these, then again, I would suggest to put them in the freezer, let the chocolate and everything and the frosting kind of set up, and then you're ready to go with them. And these little cookies really have surprised me. How many people have said, oh my gosh, where, what bakery did you get those from? Well, they weren't from any bakery, so it was very inexpensive, fun to do, and really, well, very, very, very easy. I can't stress that enough. Now, I want to show you some that have been already done and set up. I've kept them in the freezer because my kitchen is very, very hot today. And here's one that I just decided to, you know, dip the, not only dip the chocolate, the cookie in the chocolate, but I went ahead and I covered all the top and I rolled the sides in nuts. And you can, you know, grind your nuts as fine as you want or, or as coarse as you want. Here's one that just shows with a chocolate jimmy. Okay. This one again, just with the just with walnuts on top. This one with the flake coconut. And here's one that you can do just with your chocolate chips. And again, you can convert this to a sugarless type uh, recipe. Because if you really look into these cookies, they're pretty low in carbs and low in sugar. They're very similar to a graham cracker. So you can, like I said, use regular sugar-based chocolate and sugar-free chocolate. So it's a quick, it's an easy recipe for you to give it a try. If you try it and you like it or you have a comment, please let me know and write to me. I will do my very best to respond in a timely fashion. Also, I want to remind you that all my videos are solely and only put on YouTube. So if you watch me on YouTube and you're going to write to me on YouTube, I will get your question or I will get your comment. So, I want to thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. If you'd like to subscribe, well, I can't thank you enough. Or ring the bell, or give the video a like. Thank you very much. So, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.